Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Color Club all wrapped up and I've got some Maniology MXM110 and Clockwork and I have already started off with Neltix Formula 2. Here is the Color Club all wrapped up. Crazy duochrome here or multi-chrome and it's got a little something in it like glitters or something. I don't know. It's so nice. So we're doing those on the Super Shorties today. <laughs> it's all good. I don't even feel bad about it, you know. Like I say, new beginnings, you know, fresh start. So here we go, getting that first coat on there. Got to do a little clean up because I am a messy girl. Going to have to do some clean up, though. Going to have to stop playing with that and do some clean up. Hmm. <laughs> I'm using a little cleanup brush here instead of Woody today because it's not really down on the sides. It's kind of up in the crannies, you know. There we go. Get a little bit of that off of there. And I really, you know, I don't mind having short nails. So it's a good thing, I guess, because occasionally it happens. But here we go with that second coat of All Wrapped Up. I'm going to top these with INMs out the door and get it to dry down. And I will share a swatch photo of this all on its own here in just a moment. Got to get that top coat on here though. And it's super hard to cap your free edges when you don't have a free edge, but I'm still trying. Keep that nail polish from chipping so bad. Hi, Woody. How you doing? All right. So here's my swatch photo. And now on to Maniology MXM110. It's kind of like a steampunk kind of plate. And we're going to get that blue film off of it and get it wiped down with some acetone. And there's a lot I want to do with this plate. I want to revisit this one again because there were a lot of image I didn't, I didn't even get to touch. And this is clockwork. Oh my goodness. It's like a bronzy orange or something. It's so in your face. So we're going to add some of these little cogs and whatnots to my nails. And I'm just going to go crazy and like do all of them. Ta-da! Clean my stamper off on a lint roller. And then go back for some more. So I'm going to use these two big in images, this one on the left that I'm using and the one over on the right, but I'm also going to use one up a little higher in, you know, one of the single images on my ring fingernail. Just going to keep playing with it, you know, just have fun. And again, I wouldn't really technically classify this one as a Halloween manicure, but definitely Halloween colors. Ooh, I was able to save some, of, save up some of that extra and use it on my pinky nail. That's a time saver and polish saver and all that. So I've decided I want to use this little like heart locket looking thing up here. And my picture don't show it really well in my swatch photo, but you know, it is what it is. And I'm getting really close, I think, to having my lighting dialed in. Not so much for this video, but just to let you know, I do think good things are coming with that. Thank goodness. Cleaning off my plate with some acetone real quick before I put it away. And there we go. I'm going to break out a little cleanup brush. I forgot to put any kind of cuticle cream or lotion or anything. My hands were really dry and it wasn't coming up with tape. So I'm just going to hop in here and get her done with some acetone. And you can use nail polish remover. That's fine. Do what works for you. I always do the acetone because for me it's just quicker. And I say that as I'm still cleaning this one little nubby finger here. I know it's a little cray. But it's okay. It's me. Alright. Cleaned up. And now we're ready for some smudge free top coat from Maniology. And again... This one's like so duochrome -y. We're going to top it with INMs out the door. Get it to dry down. Try to cap my little free edge here. 
And here is my swatch photo. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. And here we go. Bonus, if you hung out, um, I mattified it. I like it mattified.